the Yorkshire Sculpture Park, in the regal grounds of the Breton Estate, framed by the English countryside. On display, British artists like Barbara Hepworth, Henry Moore, and international stars like Ai Weiwei. And now there is a new kid on the block, or rather a new kid in the park. From one of his first exhibitions at Ubercool shop Colette in Paris back in the 90s, via his studio in Brooklyn, New York, the contemporary artist Cause has arrived here in the English countryside. statues, these sort of symbols of authority, but they're also quite playful and cartoony. And I wonder, is it sort of a, a statement against this idea of authority? I'm not really think I'm talking about authority with the pieces that I'm making. I mean, to choose to make the sculptures in wood, it's already like a vulnerable material. And just to have, you know, I think a lot of the posturing in the sculptures is quite vulnerable. And I don't think people are usually um, used to seeing that at a scale like this, and it makes you stop, you know. Traditionally, statues, unlike this, have been very much, you know, of honor or of someone we should celebrate. Yeah. But in this case, it's very, it's completely different. You kind of switched it on, your, on its head. Yeah, I think I'm much more thinking about, like, the human condition, and, you know, I'm not looking to have, like, this sort of proud thing that's sort of not true. You know, I, I like to make honest work, I feel. The Breton estate has been home to wealthy and the elite since the 13th century. It's a grandeur symbol of money, class and society. In sharp contrast, cause work. Comic, somewhat absurd and playful sculptures measuring up to 10 metres high. Claire Lilly is curator and director of sculpture at the park. She says despite the nature of the work, it still fits nicely within the classic surrounds. I think it works fantastically well. You know, his work is subversive and he's taking images from popular culture and he's kind of t twisting them and making them his own. I use popular culture as a starting point for the work that I make. Some things sort of, you know, stay within the imagery and some things kind of get lost and fully sort of transfer over just, just my own work. But, um, I, you know, I like kind of taking my surroundings and using them, almost to collaging them into the work. and. You know, something stick and you can't really tell what that's going to be. This use of popular culture has seen cause become part of it. He's worked with fashion brand Kelvin Klein, musician Pharrell Williams, and for the iTunes release of his album 808s and Heartbreak, rapper Kanye West. I enjoy working and collaborating with different artists, whether it's music or art or fashion. It's just all, you know, it's all very interesting to me and you get sort of insight into different people's worlds and how they operate when you do these projects. So for me, it's fascinating. I mean, that's why I do it. I sort of, you know, it's a learning process and as well as a way of getting the work out. Often forlorn, in doubt and solitary, later in his career, cause subjects have started to entertain the company of others. And I find, uh, from what I've seen, a lot of your shots, um, it, they're solitary. They're one single person. And I wonder, is that representational of you or feelings that you, that you have? When I first started making sculpture, I was always thinking of having like this one single figure and the viewer and like this sort of relationship back and forth. And with Along the Way, that was the first time where I actually had, you know, two that are interacting. So there's like a dialogue happening within. But ultimately, I think a lot of the work, particularly the work outdoors, is about how we feel. It's about um, the kind of things, the kind of feelings that a lot of us feel we need to hide. We all know we're feeling them, but we don't show them. The sheer scale of these works and the material used make for a challenging setup, not to mention the English weather and all it can throw at an outdoor exhibition like this. The technicalities of making the work outdoors are extraordinary. For one thing, we had to lay the concrete pads for them two months before they ever got here. And then the work comes in, you start with the feet and you build upwards. And in that process, there are men crawling inside these bodies and assembling them, screwing them from inside until eventually the head is lifted on and they have to obviously make an exit before that part. It's a spectacle, people love to watch it. And even though they were doing that in the rain and the wind and the snow and the ice, 
twice. I mean, everything has been thrown at this show. Um, it was just an amazing thing to watch people watching this process. It's so interesting. From the ominous looking work, final days, the parental concern of good intentions, or the humbled small lie made from aphromosia wood and towering a massive 10 meters high, cause has arrived in England, and at the least, the new kid in the park is striking. Jason Mansouri, TRT World, Yorkshire.